Hey guys, alright, so we have a new event going on, right? We've got, uh, syringe tokens and bloody t-shirts. You know, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the bloody t-shirts pop up in here, I went, oh, it would be so nice if they were, like, the re regular ones that we all have thousands of. Alright, so, first character up is 20,000 is Dr. Stevens. He's an ascendable six-star. You get him, you use normal gear, as far as I know, I know he's already in the game, so I wouldn't think this would be uh, changed to level him up, though. And he's pretty good. He really is. Um, his AR goes off extremely fast, and with his AP gain and his vitality, it's... It's... Uh, a triple hitter it really is. He really is somewhat of a pain to put down. So he is a solid character. Now, he's for 20,000. Now, you come a step one down, and it's only for 12,000. And I'm quite surprised on that. I really am. There's a really big gap down for a guy that is pretty good, too. Um, Mercer is is a good character, his damage and his um, 50% HP bonus, or 50% HP bonus on top of the 150% defense, on top of the pain split, on top of the specialist skill of um, regaining health based on their ARs, on top of his active skill of health and AP gain. I mean, he is a solid character. Now, here's where I struggle with this, though, is that um, it might come down to one or the other, and so you're going to have to choose. But they're both pretty damn good. They really are. Now, if you go over here, you've got trainers. You will get one of those, just one, and the possibilities are exactly the same across the board. And that's for only 200 And then, of course, you know, it's why they're never in order. It drives me nuts. But this one's 2000 And you get one of each of the, or one of these. And so you either get one set of 10. And, of course, those are the same. All right? So that's all that's happening here. Uh, and, honestly, there isn't a difference in buying these over buying these if you spent the same amount besides your gear you aren't promised anything but a two star here and in these you are promised at least a three star or higher so that is where you really do have the benefit so if you were going to just use these for trainers um I would definitely go that route first seeing that there's only four days on the clock that's also not a lot of time um, so I know that 20,000 is a lot to get. So let's see where they're at and what's going on there. Now I already came up and also we have this syringe token event going on and that's to redeem for chances on getting the t-shirts as well. Um, I don't think they're anywhere else. Let's go see real quick. There's a survival road up and let's see completion rewards. Nope. And it just popped. Nope. So it looks like this is definitely going to be with the t-shirts a pay to get type of thing. Um, let's see where to find. Let's see what they say. Syringe token is the only way to find it. So let's go and let's see where to find these. You can get them in just the shop. So you can either get them right here in the featured and oh look my 10 day pass is up I need to redo that and so you could do it here. Odds though are pretty solid I'm not going to lie. Um, 20,000 and you have a fair shot. Even though the math is a little wrong there. Huh. I wonder what that's about. Hmm. Anyways, um, 
it's still pretty awesome. So for that, you can get it here, and that's for 599 token or coins. And then if you want to come in here and do, there's offers, you can do the token offer. Let's see if I can, let me, there you go, here. So 3000 for 299 So this is definitely a pay one. I probably should have looked at that previously, but not a big deal. All right, so I did buy one thought, what the hell, why not? So I thought I'd come in here. Now, the chances are low. They are. And I don't know if the chances actually improve with pulls. I have no idea. But I did come over here and I thought, I, I love Mia, by the way. She's awesome. Or Maya, whatever her name is. I call her Mia. I love her. She's badass. Get her. Um, I got her a single pull. Super lucky. I believe it was a single pull. Um, and I'm pretty sure I have it posted or videoed and I definitely have it screenshot. But right here. The chances at an ascendable are even lower, 0 0.9, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. And so when I came in here and I looked at this and I went, at least it's 1%. So it's better than the other odds. Not by much, but a little bit. So let's see what we get. So I'm going to go ahead and claim them now. Let's see. Got to be nice to get like, something super awesome. 58 is not bad. 66 is not bad. 106 is not bad. I'm really happy with that. Um, not so thrilled about the 5 and the 1 equals 6 and the 666, six, six, but in the 16. But you know, what are you going to do? Those are awesome. That's a good amount. I'm definitely happy with that. Um, it could have been 1, you know, for each one, and that would have sucked. It really would have. So I will take it. All right, so I already, of course, you know, completed one of them, and this would be for the trainers, for me to get one trainer anywhere between a um, two-star and a five-star. So if you wanted to do that and see if you got enough for just that, for two ninety nine, dollars a Benedict is worth more than that. He really is nowadays. So I'm super, super happy with that all together. So that's, that's good. Um, but again, I'm not going to pay to collect enough of those to get either Mercer or Dr. Stevens. That's just not, that's to me, um, well, if you average three, what was it? 240 I have, if you averaged... I have 230. So if you average 200 and you need 20,000, you need to purchase it 10 times. So, yeah, nah, I don't want to do that. Not at all. I'm good. But, you know, kind of cool event. It's going on. Um, I do like the syringe thing that they've made it all very medical and still a little Halloween y going on there. So I think that's kind of cool. All right. So we do have a couple other pulls that I wanted to do. Um, as well, the day of the dead ones have been pretty cool as well. I'm not going to lie, but I want to do this one and I am praying for something. I really need a new ascendable six star five, a new ascendable five star or a six star. So desperately bad. So bad. I really do need one. Like you wouldn't believe. And one I don't have already, again, I would like to put out there one I don't have. So, ready, set, go. Wish me all the luck. I'm super nervous and I super need this. Oh, my God! I don't have him! Nice! Thank God! All right, let's learn about Knox. Yay! Yay, 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 yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I can't believe I got one. All right. So, next is uh, deal 425% damage and 460 bleed damage for two turns to a line of enemies. So, he's not super powerful, but he does neutralize, which I do love neutralize. It is one of my favorite ones. And he causes 300 bleed damage for two turns to an enemy. So, he isn't the most badass out there, but he could be somebody solid that could stand up and hold a territory or hold a tower or... 
shit, just use them in a level up or a good zombie team or a good melee team. Um, just his neutralize with the attacking, you know, that can come in handy. So there are some good stuff that he can do for sure. Definitely happy to finally pull an ascendable six star. And I'm glad that I got that for everybody too. So that was super awesome. It was good timing, Scopely. Good timing. Well done. Well done. This Dr. Stevens, man, does everyone remember when these characters, like, do you guys look at these when you get them and go, oh my God, I remember when I wanted him so bad. Yeah, that's what I do all of the time too. We were talking about it, I think, uh, this morning in group chat about how, you know, Andrea used to be just what you needed. And then when Shield Michonne came out and the revives and when all these changes happened and it's uh, crazy how far it's come. But yeah, there's so many that people still don't have that they've wanted, you know, forever. When they get them, it is exciting. I think that's everything I have. Oh, let's see what I can get out of this. Hopefully something good. I actually need it. I'll take it. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure I've got nothing else. I wonder about Lance. I do. I really think that he will be sweet and almost impossible to shut down. I would like to see how he does against the S characters out there. I really would. All right. Oh, I have a token, so I'll pull that and see if I can get any decent out of it. Four-star Chad. <laughs> I remember learning how to use him. And then, of course, I always have a ton of these. And we used to let them just stack and stack and stack. Um, but now that it's three stars and up, you can't really use them that much for a level up. I mean, if you got in a pinch, of course. But for the most part, I'd rather just have the number down and off my screen and my OCD will calm down. But you do get a pretty decent amount of stuff, especially since you can turn around and sell all of these characters to the depot. And now that the depot has changed, doing that is, um, I think this tie is super cool, by the way. I keep one of him just because I think he's awesome. And looking, his tattoos and stuff. But the depot changes have been pretty severe. Like this Kenny being only 30,000 is amazing. And then uh, yesterday before it switched... I had Michonne there, and so I was pretty surprised by that. And then even this Lilith was 3000 so, I mean, that's all really awesome stuff. I would like to see six-star gear move into here, honestly, and I would like to see this change more, especially now that they put characters in here like six-star Lee where we need different gear for that we weren't ready to have different gear for um, unless we chose to go that route. You know, that kind of sucks as we're trying to get all of this and we have no way to get it at all until we wait for the clock to switch it over on its own. It just, uh, very, very frustrating for sure. And there's just nothing we can do but wait. So drives me a little crazy. All right. And then I do have a couple of things to open down here. Um, I did grab a couple of these survival energy bags with the survival row going on. I needed the energy. So I said, all right, let's go ahead and do it. And let's see how good these odds are. So that's three. And let's see if it shows us it doesn't. Um, nope. And it's, that's right. So that's gone. It timed out already. Sorry, you guys. I meant to show you the odds were three, six, and nine, I believe. And I don't know how correct that is. But three each for a dollar ninety nine is awesome. I'm like, how do you, you know, I'm good with that. So that's about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you have any questions or concerns. Always put them below. I do my very best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to let me know. I will get that video done as soon as possible too. I'm not always great with timing, but I, I, I honestly do my best at all times. I sincerely do give it my all. So, um, don't hesitate to leave what you need to ask me what you need to below and I'll do my best to help you out. 
All right, so I hope everyone's having a great week, and don't forget, please, to like, subscribe, and share. Keep kicking ass out there, you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you again for watching.